because the road is so tight. Even when you have red light, but you see the bus, you know for sure that the road is blocked, so <laughs> you can walk. And yeah, actually I'm going back now through the same street. Why? Because my dentist, well, because my dentist is completely back way to the pancake cafe somewhere there. So I will have to walk now for 20 minutes back because we already were home. I have my tooth in my pocket <laughs> and I'm going to the doctor so he can glue it back to my to my jaw. Yeah, yeah I'm back to this... Um, uh, how, how you even call it? Mm, the street. Oriental. Yeah. Oriental street. And with a lot of different shops and clothes mostly. Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's like a huge long market. But it's in the streets. In the house. On the street. Just along the houses. A lot of clothes. And, and so on. So basically it's, it's a long way. And there are a lot of people in front of me. So I will turn off my phone for now. One interesting thing I noticed. Even the shops, for example, uh, prices are like very cheap, 5, 10 euros, 15 euros max for big clothes, for dresses. And why? I think so, because they work here, like you see, 7 euros, 5 euros for, for, for good clothes. Uh, why they have prices like that? That's because it's Mussolini stuff and there's Moscow, uh, Michet, right now, near. And I think they put cheap prices just to allow people to buy it somehow, their national dresses and so on, because they don't care about the income. Well, it's impossible to earn when you sell it for five euros, you know. But the, the thing is, they can allow others to buy it. So they distribute, they distribute the thing all around with cheap prices. Advertisement. <laughs> Actually, you cannot go here, but they put the car and the broken one with a number. Oh, it's not a number. Or maybe it's a number for evacuation. Advertisement like this. Interesting. You know, you see what they do <laughs> immediately. Prices for the fuel. Almost two euros, a little bit cheaper than two euros. The petrol is petrol station just between houses. And I really I'm really super curious how they park. Look, it's so professional when <laughs> parking. And here also Look, the space. No space and they somehow manage to park all of that. Well, of course each car has bumps and scratches and bumpers all broken, but still. <laughs> they find the place, they find the space. Okay, so I'm at the dentist. At the dentist office right now. Oh yeah, there is someone sleeping. Uh, I hope they will do it fast. They need only to glue my tooth back. Let's go inside. Because I chew a lot. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's clean? Yes. Nice. So I will have a clean tooth. Not only is it back, but it, it will be clean. There is a lot of old glue and they're cleaning. It takes time. We're gonna be famous or what? Yes, yes. <laughs> done. It's back there. <laughs> so now, now I have to pay and it's uh, 50 euros. Not Germany of course, but 50 euros. That's the clinic name, Dentigo, Center Dentai, Dente, in Marcel, uh, Republica something, address Republic. Very polite, very fast, clean. Thank you very much. And oh yeah, <laughs> the mask. So, time to go home. Oh no, the other way around. Yeah, time to go home. It's already dark. Scary. Okay, okay, I'm not filming. I will not film anymore today, until I get home at least. Now somehow I have to get inside. Hello, I am Ivan. Where is the object? I don't know you. My name is Ivan. I'm from Mother Russia. Where is the object?